Hi, I'm AJ and thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current subscriber to the AJ Mobile Money Nation, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button because you're gonna like this video and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Some big name trading platforms announced this week that they are now gonna offer commission-free trading. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the big boys are now offering free trading and for everyone. So the first to make this announcement and to start the dominoes falling was Charles Schwab. On Wednesday, they announced that they're now gonna offer $0 commission-free trading on their platform for everyone. This was immediately followed in the next couple of days with announcements from TD Ameritrade, Interactive Brokers, E-Trade, and I expect that at some point, Fidelity will make the exact same announcement. Now the aftermath of offering free trading will affect each of those companies differently, and this is why. For certain companies, the trading fees were a big portion of their revenue, while other companies is not. So for instance, with Charles Schwab, less than 5% of their revenue came from trading fees versus someone like TD Ameritrade where over 30% of their revenue came from trading fees. And this is based on their SEC filings. Now the stock prices of all of these platforms dropped significantly just after the Charles Schwab announcement. And as you could expect, as soon as those two make those announcements, uh, the other companies started falling in line as well because they don't wanna miss out on the potential revenue just from those customers possibly moving to the other platforms. Now, there were already platforms that you could use that already offered free trading. Uh, Robinhood, the t-shirt that I'm wearing right now, was is one of the major platforms, one of the first ones that people think about when you think about free trading but they were still small in comparison to Charles Schwab, E-Trade, TD Ameritrade, Fidelity, uh, Interactive Brokers, the bigger names like that. But in order for those big names to stay on an even playing field with the other big names, they had to give in and offer that free trading to all of their clients. So let's talk about the history of free trading. Uh, the first platform that I can remember that offered free trading was actually Loyal3. Loyal3 was founded back in 2009 and the first time I actually used their platform was in 2014. And about three years later in 2017, their platform was acquired by Folio First. But as far as I'm aware, Loyal3 was the first free trading platform and also the first fractional share trading platform. And within that three year period, I shared that information with a lot of my friends who we were all TD Ameritrade users. TD Ameritrade, their Think or Swim platform, it was the first trading app or any investing platform that I ever used. TD Ameritrade was the first and then E-Trade was the second one that I used. Now Robinhood came along in 2013. I signed up for the waiting list near the end of 2014 and I started using their app in 2015. Now out of the current app-based investing platforms, Robinhood is the most popular. It's the one that you'll hear about the most, but there are others out there like M1 Finance, Webull, SoFi Invest, Public, which was formerly known as Matador, but they changed their name just a few weeks ago. These are all apps that you could use that offer free trading before Charles Schwab and the other big platforms made their announcement this week. So for someone that may already use Robinhood or M1 Finance or one of the other free trading platforms, what would make you want to use Charles Schwab or TD Ameritrade, or what would make Charles Schwab want to make their app and their platform now free to trade? One of the reasons is that millennials and Gen Z, we use apps a lot. We're on our mobile devices. That is the first thing that we learn how to use. And especially if you're a millennial, if you're a person that has a lot of student loan debt and you want to get into investing, if you know of an option where you can actually trade and you can invest your money for free, why wouldn't you use that platform? So I can assume that these major players, they're not getting a lot of new millennial customers or at least new millennial customers that have small amounts of money to invest. So for Charles Schwab and TD Ameritrade and the other big platforms out there, one of the advantages that they have over those app-based investment platforms is that they're big. That's the major thing. They are huge and they have billions of dollars. They make millions of dollars, if not billions per year. And they have things that Robinhood and M1 Finance do not currently offer. So what you can get from those platforms is that you have a myriad of financial options. You have bank accounts, checking and savings accounts. They have possibly mortgage loans that they can offer and other types of loans. So you have all of those other different services that those companies already have available, including retirement accounts that you can create that many of those free trading apps don't have available. 
On top of that, customer service. With many of these free trading apps, you have an app-based customer service as well. So you can either contact them through their website or you contact them through their actual app. And you may not be able to speak to someone on the phone. And you definitely may not be able to speak to someone 24 seven. And some of those bigger platforms like Charles Schwab and TD Ameritrade, you actually have that access. In addition to that, you don't have local branches. You can walk into a Charles Schwab branch. You can walk into TD Ameritrade, TD Bank, and you can speak to someone if you were to have any issues with your accounts. So these are things that the major platforms do have as an advantage over some of these free trading apps like Robinhood and M1 Finance. However, there's still one feature that those major platforms like Charles Schwab and TD Ameritrade still don't offer, and that is fractional share investing. And this is one feature that I think will keep some of those free trading apps alive, or at least the ones that offer it. Currently, Robinhood doesn't offer fractional share investing, but apps like M1 Finance, Public, formerly known as Matador, and SoFi Invest, they allow you to buy a piece of a share, a fraction or a partial share. You can buy it for as little as five or $10. You can get into a stock like Amazon or Apple or Google, you know, companies that their stock prices are hundreds of dollars, if not thousands of dollars. And M1 Finance and the companies that I just mentioned, those are just the free trading ones. There are also some companies that do charge a fee like Motif and Folio First or Stockpile that also offer fractional share investing. I'm assuming that coming soon, those companies will probably have to remove their trading fee as well, since all of the big platforms have free trading now, and also the other free trading apps like Robinhood, they've always had it. So I can see within the next week, those companies will probably start to offer free trading as well. But I'll talk about fractional share investing in a future video, so I can go to, into more details and talk about those individual platforms. Oh, and one more thing, in the middle of all of these companies announcing that they're having free trading, another company who had already made an announcement that they were working on their free trading app, and they're also gonna have fractional share investing, is StockTwits. So StockTwits, their app is called the Trade App, and during this week, they decided to release their app in the Apple App Store. Currently, it's only available on iOS. So for Android users, this isn't an option for you. But if you own an iPhone or an iPad, you can actually download the Trade app by StockTwits. If you're already on the waiting list, you'll probably get access to it sooner. I've been on the waiting list for, I think, a couple months now, um, but I'm still on the waiting list, although I've downloaded the app to my iPad. I'm not actually able to trade yet. Once I actually have access to make trades, I will do a review of their platform. But what you can do is I have a link in the description. If you'd like to be added to that waiting list, just click on my link and create your account name. If you already have StockTwits, you can use the same name that you use for that application as your trade app name. Now, going back to Robinhood, Robinhood is actually expected to have their IPO in the near future. They recently hired a CFO, and so they're expected to go public either by the end of the year or sometime early next year. So I'm wondering if, you know, with all of these major platforms now going into free trading, will this have an effect on when they actually have their IPO? Uh, will this change some of the features that maybe that Robinhood will need to offer in order to make their services better or on par with the big platforms like TD Ameritrade and Charles Schwab? Or will people who started investing with Robinhood initially, will that even cause those individuals to move from Robinhood or those other free trading platforms to now use Charles Schwab and TD Ameritrade and the other uh, investing platforms? So if you currently use one or more of any of the platforms that I mentioned in this video, leave a message in the comments and let us know how this news will change what platforms you use to invest. If you only use one, will you now switch to one of the other platforms? If you used Robinhood, one of the previously free, and you also used TD Ameritrade or Charles Schwab, will you now only use one of them now that the bigger platforms are free as well? Or will you continue to use both based on certain features that you have available in both of those platforms? All right, thanks for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. You could have been doing anything with your time, so I really appreciate it. If you're not a current subscriber, you're not a part of the Mobile Money Nation, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button because you really like this video and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching and have a great day.